Hello everyone, I am Lonnie. Just wanna let y'all know the drawing for the free cases of tape that we announced two videos ago. That drawing is in this video at the end. So stick around till the end or skip ahead to the end, whatever you wanna do if you wanna see that drawing. Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace, welcome back. Well, this morning we went to some um, garage sales and we do have some orders to get out. We have like, I think 13 items going out, but we thought we'd show you what we picked up this morning first. Um, we went to, I think 17 sales and we spent $61. $61, y'all. I couldn't believe it. I asked Candace and look, we spent $61 and one item we spent $20 on. So yeah. the rest of the stuff, like we spent nothing on. It's yeah, crazy. It's really cheap today. I like it. Yeah, I like that too. That's all I'm talking about. For instance, these three bats were a dollar each. Yeah, dollar each. And look, they are, they definitely have a lot of... Uh, well, this one, these two are bad. This, I mean, yeah. They, they, they have a lot of paint off of them and stuff, but no, I did... No dents, huh? No, I felt, I very carefully felt each one mm -hmm. and there's no cracks or dents or anything like that. Yep. So uh, I'll clean them up a little bit and you know, they'll just have to sell like they are. But man, look, I got an Easton, I got a Marucci and look at this brand y'all. I never even heard of this brand before. And it's good. Victus, uh, it's a Victus Vandal victor charlie bravo victor is the is the model vcbv it's a 3027 and look i was kind of just looking up the bats a little bit these two i don't know they're probably i'm not sure actually i mean they're probably 50 60 70 dollar bats some this somewhere one's, this one's be the better of the two yeah they're yeah they're they're probably somewhere in that range yeah let me show you all that uh that weird brand. Okay, this is on Terrapeak. I don't know what kind of could do. What the heck kind of picture is that? Are they moving it back and forth and got wow. blurry? I can enlarge that. Look at that. Oh no, it's just okay. It's fine. It's just a bad, uh, bad, bad thumbnail. Thumb. Yeah. But yeah, look, these are the only prices I could see on Terrapeak for that model. Yeah. And these are all thirty twenty sevens like I have. Now this one does say BB Core Mint. 9.5 plus out of 10. Ours is nothing like that. I don't know like what. And those comps are a uh, little old. So maybe a hundred bucks on yours, you think? I have no idea. Cause three of those comps are from 21 and one is from 22. True. So. Yeah, and that does matter sometimes mm -hmm. on bats. Yeah. But anyway, I couldn't believe it. I never, any, those y'all that sell sporting, sporting good stuff. Y'all ever heard of Victus before? Cause I, I have not. I've, I thought I'd seen all the bat brands, but yeah. I never heard of that one. That's crazy to me. Man, how do they get so much paint missing off of these things, man? I'm surprised you even bought it. Not not, not hurt. Ugh. I'm surprised you bought it. Not even have having heard of it before. Well, that's why I bought it. Okay. <laughs> for a dollar, if I haven't heard of it before, yeah. I'm not gonna not buy it for a dollar and then get home and like, oh, what? Let me look up that Victus brand now. Oh, that's five five thousand dollars. I wish I would have bought it. You know, that ain't gonna happen to well, me. I figured because it was just a dollar, but I yeah. yeah. Oh no, that's why I bought it. Yeah. All right. So um, these are some little um, vintage trivets, and anytime I see vintage mushroom stuff, I look it up. And you're gonna like the name of this company. It's I don't know if y'all can see it because it's a San Juan. San Juan, and Juan is with an H. Yeah. So so, so you, that's why you have. San Juan. Yeah, but they are made in Taiwan. Um, I, Taiwan. Taiwan. <laughs> I did look them up before I bought them. Um, they were a dollar each, and the set will go for about twenty-five dollars. Is this missing something? It, it's actually. Um, it's a missing a rubber thing. Yeah. So, and this one doesn't have any. So, I'm just going to take these off to, and they'll be matching. There you go. That's yeah. smart. I'd rather take three off than have find one. Try to replace. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, so I think about $25 for those, depending on how good they clean up. Okay. And keep in mind, y'all, whenever we show y'all stuff and we're like throwing prices out there, we're we're giving you a best guess. Yeah. And uh, we we don't really know what they're going to sell for. Right. 
But if you want to know, you can just tune in later. These are cool. They, they're they solid wood. They have a good mid-century uh, modern look. Um, antelope, gazelle, whatever they are. And um, I looked them up, and I think $30 to $40 for those. We paid five, right? Five, yeah. They wanted, they had $10 on the price tag. And without getting a comp or anything like that, I, I was comfortable paying five. Yeah. So I did that a few times today. I noticed one of them has like curvy horns, antlers. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, they... Uh, is one a boy and one a girl? They kind of spiral on the way up and one's taller than the other. Yeah, they're definitely handmade. They're yeah. each individual. It's not, you know, not cranked out by a machine. So. Yeah. All right. Lonnie bought this. It's a Santa Scentsy. It looks like my Santa mugs. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. It does. That'd be cool if they had a winker. It said never used. However, they had samples and little baggies sitting in there. So one of them melted. So I guess it is used now. It doesn't matter because it, yeah. it looked, to me, it was it was in used condition anyways. Yeah. Like, look at the bottom. You, you paid know. three for it, right? Yeah, they wanted, They had five on it. And I looked it up. I saw that uh, you could get about 30 for it. Okay. Which I thought was good. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I offered her three and she took three right away. Awesome. Right, we have a uh, rainbow rainmate. Yeah, I used to find these all the time, and I still occasionally we and, find them. And then I started talking about it on YouTube, and I, I don't. It's like it's Can't weird. I, I don't see them anymore. <laughs> what happened, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> we picked this one up for five. Lonnie plugged it in. It does work. Yeah, and the, this is you see, it's a rainmate. It's a rainbow. It's made by the vacuum manufacturer Rainbow. In fact, yeah, and it's. Yeah, and it's a rain mate, and it, this is an IL model, which just means illuminate. And it's got, if you notice, it does need a little cleanup. Hang on, I'll turn the light out. We haven't turned the lights out in here lately. Yeah. So, yeah, it kind of, it's like a little night light effect, also. Uh, can they even see it? Yeah, y'all can kind of see it. Yeah. Y'all can see there's some scunge buildup of like hard water or whatever, yeah, minerals. Yeah, we'll get that cleaned out with some vinegar. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah, we paid uh, five dollars for that. In the past, I mean, I haven't comped these lately. This, is, this might, may have changed. In the past, we typically we get like somewhere around forty dollars for one of those. Yeah. Probably spend about ten minutes doing a little clean up on it. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. All right, let's look at some more stuff. Man, I cannot believe how little money we spent today. I know. That's nuts. Yep. All right, now I normally don't comp stuff at garage sales because I try and like move quickly but most stuff we buy at garage sales is what can is one to five dollars usually mm -hmm. on on you know typically yeah and um sometimes i'll comp stuff usually i won't this one i did try and comp i actually had trouble comping it i did end up figuring i could get about 90 dollars for it uh, i did pay the 20 it's an e-trex e touch 25 i paid the 20 after the the seller she yelled at her kid <laughs> and then he went inside and grabbed some batteries it's an e-trex touch to, i've never seen one like this before yeah. uh, he went in and got some batteries i was able to power it up and make sure it worked and uh yeah it worked fine and it's got the original box and the manual and stuff there's a cable in there i guess that's to update the software or whatever maybe, maybe. put it in the computer or something yeah. like that so yeah, I paid 20 and like I said, I think I can get somewhere around 90. I've never seen, this one's so cool. Yeah, it's a good little size, huh? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Really good. Does it have a lanyard in there perhaps? I don't think so. Oh well, darn. There's a spot for one? Yeah, they, they pretty much always have. The, the the ones you mount in, the car, in your car aren't great anymore for sure. But this handheld kind is still pretty good. Uh, that That's the battery thing there. Oh, no. The lanyard goes here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, paid 20 for that. That's a, that's a third of our budget today. I know. Or not our budget, but that's our a spending. third of what we spent. Yep. Um, I picked up five cookbooks. Nothing spectacular. They're all from Louisiana. They're kind of cool. Yeah. Did like, you look at any of them up? I didn't. These are uh, White Castle um, has a huge plantation on the way. It's right across the river from Baton Rouge. So um, these two cookbooks are from that area. Look at those covers. I know. 
could tell a kid did those like yeah. back in the, probably the 80s or something yeah look so i thought those were neat copyright 1968 to 1982 by circulation service yeah and then okay. i thought this one was interesting it's a big one a 90 day menu it has your menus for 90 days oh cool i love that so yeah you can go oh, three neat. months without without repeating a recipe oh wow you could just do that four times a Look, year basically. it's got everything you need crab stew rice smothered turnips pineapple coleslaw hot rolls lemon meringue pie and your favorite wine or oh the complete menu like complete menu for 90 days that's fun yeah i mean you could just do that uh four times a year basically yeah and then go out to eat the other five days yep man that'd be fun huh should i do it <laughs> oh, you won't stick to that. Look, one of, like this meal is just a wedge lettuce salad. I guess that's a meal. I don't know. No, because they've got dinners and then they have salads. So okay. I don't know. But I thought that was cool. No, that is cool. Cool concept. No, it is. That was smart. Yeah. Uh, Fleetwood Mac DVD box set. So I think it's CD. Yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> I don't know why I said DVD. Um, and it's complete and I saw it and I, then I walked away and I saw Lonnie picking up Candace was comping it at, which I didn't know <laughs> while I was going through each one of the jewel cases to make sure they were in good condition and had the had the, the disc, disc in there yeah. and the seller she had 10 on it no she had 750 oh, okay she had 750 on it I don't know if it's still on it yeah it might be on the bottom yeah okay. and I offered five and then Candace told me... Uh, he, he said five and I walked near him and I go, it's worth about 30. So that he knew if she... Because I thought she had 10 on it. That's why I was telling you that. Oh, okay. So that I knew if she didn't accept for you just to not take it. From well, you. no. She it, she she was going, oh man, I really... And she goes, oh, I really... I like that. And I'm like... It, she goes, I like that set so much. It's so good. I'm like... And I started to, I'm like, maybe sounds you, like you want to keep it. I was like, sounds like maybe you should keep it. <laughs> and then she goes, uh, and I'm like, I'll tell you what I'll think about. It. And I started to set it down and she said, I'll take five. So I, I bet it's good. The complete blue horizon sessions from 67 to 69. I didn't know they were even around then. Honestly. Yeah. So, okay. That's interesting. Um, okay. This was a fun little pickup for Lonnie. Cause it, I, I don't know. They had a dollar box at a sale. They, they had some crap in there like that i didn't buy but then and actually this might be kind of crappy too i mean th these aren't worth a, a ton but look we have a um a user guide for ti 99 4a and then we also have a uh, beginner's basic manual programming language manual for ti 99 4a also i'm going to just bundle these together and yeah. sell them uh, i love this kind of stuff so it's yeah. fun for me to sell this might be this might only be 15 to 20 dollars for the two books but uh i still like like things that i really like i like to get them away from places where nobody wants them anymore and get them into like an enthusiast hands before they end up in the trash or, e even yeah. if i don't make a ton of money but yeah. but i will definitely make enough money to make that worthwhile yeah the other thing i found in that dollar box this is the cool thing and I'm hoping I can get this five dollars off of there because it's written in marker. I'll try. Um, this is CPM. Some of y'all might know might know what it is. That's an operating system like from the '70s, I think. And uh, I didn't even know that you could run this operating system on a Commodore 64. The Commodore 128 had three modes. It had Commodore 128 mode, Commodore 64 mode, and CPM mode. But the Commodore 64 they had nothing like that. And uh, yeah, this, what was this original tag? Wait, wait, we'll peel that one. This blank, I was trying to see what this one Your was. price is service merchandise. Yeah, it's, it's faded out. Which is, we can't see, oh, 59 something, I think. Yeah. So this, this is CPM operating system for Commodore 64. And it's it comes in a cartridge form because, and I believe that's because this actually has a Zilog Z80 CPU inside of it. Yeah. Which is the that's the processor. The Z80 line is the processor that was 
that CPM usually ran on. And you could see we, hey, this thing doesn't look like it was used. I know, it's so clean, look at that. Nobody used CPM on the Commodore 64 that I ever Yeah, there of. is not a single scuff no. on this thing, like not even little. And you can see like this is the original sleeve for the disc. Disc has no... Look, I don't think this book has been cracked. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Look at the spine. So that was really cool. Candace found some... Uh, put that back in there, please. Mm -hmm. And I'll put it back in there. Candace found um, some solds. Yeah. Um, looks to me probably <laughs> about 100 bucks. Man, that's awesome. If I was looking at the right thing now. I think I, that sounds about right. Yeah. This is pretty rare. Before, like, I'm I'm pretty into Commodore 64 stuff. I didn't know this existed. So, somebody's going to want this thing. Yeah, it's cool. One dollar, uh, y'all. That, that, like, that was cool. I like the graphics on it. it. Those of you that are, like, into this kind of thing, did y'all know... The CPM was released for the Commodore 64. I can't imagine anybody using that. It's crazy. Some of y'all will hate this next one. Yeah, we have one more thing. Some of y'all are going to hate it. Some of y'all are going to love it. Couldn't pass it up there. Yeah, we found it for a dollar. And look, they, they, they claim these are hilarious knee slappers. Yeah, and hokey puns. Boy, that's a bit. What a, what a feature set there, huh? Can I tell you the the one on the back yeah go ahead let's do it why did the burglar steal a dozen eggs he liked them poached oh that's really dumb okay <laughs> that was a groaner are y'all ready for a joke a day again okay they have a whole section called did you hear <laughs> oh wow these are really bad <laughs> did you hear about comedy night at the bar it was a real brouhaha Okay, no, man, that is bad. I might not do the dig you here section. Yeah. Why did Taylor stand up quickly? They're sitting on pins and needles. Why should ghosts not tell lies? You can see right through them. Those are dad jokes. They are, but they're, man, they are dad horrible. Dad jokes are horrible. No, but they're... They are. They really are bad. I, I'll see if I can find some good ones, and we may be telling a few of those on the channel, but we'll see. I'm not going to just tell, like... I'm not gonna. I refuse. I'm not gonna tell just like stupid, really bad jokes because then. For 158 days in a row. Right. Yeah. I mean, let's, let's intentionally make the channel way worse. <laughs> you know that. You tell a dad joke a day, and I'll cook a meal a day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, but yeah, that's everything we got, and uh, I mean, I, we've got several items that's that are worth more than what we paid for all of them. Mm -hmm. So that's a damn good day, I think. Yep. We do have orders to pull and pack. Yeah, we need to get to it. All right, let's, let's go. Let's get cracking. All right, time to pull some orders. I think we have 12 things going out now. Yeah, it's 12. Okay. Uh, unless we sold something within the last few minutes. Uh, first item is a Monster High Clear Denial on 5 Bravo. I know where she is. 5 Bravo. I'm excited about my Commodore 64 CPM thing. That's a hundred dollar bill right there. Trip on that stool. I need to move it. No, oh, okay. Yep, fourteen dollars for that. Okay. Next item is twelve Charlie Dash L. It's a Nutcracker Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I know, I know what he looks like, but I need to go twelve Charlie left. Okay. We we still need to put our little tags on here. Sherlock. No. No bleep, Sherlock. Where are you? Uh oh, did I put him on the right? <laughs> Wait, is this Charlie? That's Alpha yeah. Bravo Charlie. Right. A fireman. Oh, I see him. I got him over here. I, I do too. Come hold him. Come hold this guy for me. He was hiding in the middle. Oh, uh, I, I didn't notice old Sherlock had had the uh, binox. Yep, he's on the hunt. <laughs> Look at him binoculars a pipe and his cane yeah that's a cool look man that one is really cool and he's got his uh plaid whatever that plaid is called yeah what do you call those hats with the flaps i, I guess know. there you can unflap them to warm your ears this is one of the cooler ones i think he sold for 70. okay all right next item is in the cube 
I don't know what this thing is. Ocean Matrix Video Passive AB switch. Yeah, factory sealed, new old stock. Don't, you know, I would explain it all to you, but. I don't care. <laughs> but I don't know what it is either, really. I mean, it's some kind of thing, some kind of electronic thing that does some signals with some. And you can switch from A to B? Yeah, you can go here or there with yeah. your signal or whatever. You okay. This or that. Right. <laughs> but what's the brand again? Ocean Matrix. Okay, this. It sounds very uh, non technical. Ocean Matrix. Uh, it's in a white box. A w oh, I, I think I have it right here. Oh, you meant the four pin S video passive AB switch. Yeah, that one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Why didn't you just say so? All right. That's all for 30. Okay, cool. That's a Kevin and Danielle buy kind of thing there. Somebody's going to get their plug sparked. Oh, oh stop it. <laughs> All right, you sold some spark plugs. One mm -hmm. Delta Dash SP3. That's the first set of spark. I only listed 15 so far. Yeah. I was supposed to have listed more by now, but man. You've been busy. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I, I Sometimes I feel like, sometimes when I say I've been busy, I really was busy. And then other times when, when I say busy, what I really mean is I haven't done much work. Doesn't it feel like sometimes you have that condition, what's it called, where you fall asleep but you didn't know you were sleeping? You know what I'm talking about? And then you're and then like, the day's where, gone. Yeah, where'd the day go? Yeah. You didn't know you've been sleeping half the day. No, I, I mean. What is that called? Narcolepsy? Yeah, but we work together so we would know that if that was were the case. What, what uh, shelf? One Delta. Oh, one Delta. SP3. Oh, these. I thought these were gonna. I thought it was gonna be a little while before I sold a. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a while until I sold my first spark plugs. But we actually sold two sets. Yeah. So if y'all don't know, we bought um, we bought a big old tub full of spark plugs for a hundred dollars. Yeah. And I list. These are the only ones I've listed so far. And uh, we sold two of them out of here. So this one is SP3. Yeah, I didn't label them. I need a very a little smarter way of like the labels need to be on top or something. It's fine, yeah. I'll find them. These sold for twenty dollars. It's a set SP3? of three. Yeah, it's a set of four. Okay, got those. Twenty bucks for those. And then what's the other one? There's some more up up higher there. Might as well pull S those. SP5. It's a set of eight. SP5. Okay. Yeah, and those also sold for uh, twenty dollars. SP Yeah, I didn't. Okay, I need to put the labels on top, obviously. If this ain't working. SP1. SP5. Yeah, this is these are eight uh, champion, champion plugs. Plus. There we go. And uh the way I've kind of figured I like the the four packs they ship at 12 ounce. The spark plugs are all fairly similar in weight 12 ounce and then the ones that have six plugs they're going for 16 ounce and then whenever we're doing like eight or more this has to ship at two pound rate uh i'm doing parcel post on these okay so it, it should probably hopefully it's around seven eight bucks to ship those all right decided to make y'all to not make y'all have to go through me pulling these out of here anymore we've done enough of those by now that's a pearl mississippi walmart pen pearl i've pearl, been there i yeah. think it's got a magnolia that's uh that's right at the that's right at the border right of louisiana pearl is it or no pearl river is what I'm thinking. but that probably is yeah but it could be further up yeah, I know. the rivers usually go south huh that's over ten dollars okay all right next order is a stamping up uh lot five delta dash r okay Six piece stamp set. Edgy eloquence. Okay. Now, I I They're over here. I know, but I thought I had them each with like a custom label. What, well, oh, I put the name on them. Yeah, what? Okay. Edgy eloquence? That's them. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Those mm -hmm. sold for $10. Okay, cool. Because uh, they've been listed a while. I think we've. I think that's the second one we've sold of those. Yeah. Not been a hot seller. Alrighty, and the cube. 
A Sony tape head cleaner. Yeah. Beta Max. It is a beta. Bought a bunch of beta tapes at a garage sale. I listed them as a lot. Ah, this is it right here. And one of the things that I did not include with the lot was this uh, Sony cleaning head cleaner uh, tape. According to the check marks on here, it's being used three times. What would we get for that? Uh, $15, and I see in your picture you didn't include the sleeve because that's not the right sleeve, right? Exactly. Yeah. I didn't include the sleeve, but I am going to ship it in a sleeve. Right. Yeah. All right. Two Delta Monster High Deuce Gorgon. Okay. All right, that's the last deuce in this box. So next time we sell one, you're gonna have to okay. cut cut some deuces. I might go ahead and do that this weekend. Okay. Uh, Ten dollars for that. Mu7. We have a Boy Scout patch. It's over here. Oh, Mu7. That's a uh, Beverly. In the Bev drawer. Beverly drawer. Yeah. Which it's, one? It's red. Um, Is it B or C? C. It's See? Like a on it. Yeah. Ten dollars for that. It's a Cub Scout, right? BSA Cub Scouts. Yeah. Okay. Six Foxtrot Vintage um, Dr. Scholl's support. We haven't sold any of those in a while. I, I, know. Thought, I thought we were out of them. Yeah, we may not have any more after this. Six Foxtrot. Oh, I know what they look like because I remember. I think I've sold about 50, 60 of these. Yeah. Over the past, and I, I mean, it's been what, like four years or something? Yeah. I was selling, I started selling these before we even got this shed. Yeah. I was selling these. Yeah. And then every now and then we'll find one somewhere that's not listed somehow or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then there's, yeah. It's like they're, they're uh, multiplying in, in secret. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think, I want to say I paid like a couple of dollars a piece for these from Guy. Mm -hmm. This is one of my first buys from Guy. Yeah. And uh, man, they have not sold for a lot of money, but we have made a bunch of money on these just in volume. Yeah. Now that yeah. one sold for $18.74. Okay, good. We got one more big thing, huh? Yeah, we saw it. Um, this is actually a Nesco. It's with that Mr. Christmas buy, but it's by a Nesco. It's on um, two Delta. It's the Santa's workshop. Okay, I'm just gonna show it. Well, I'm not gonna show y'all anything, I guess. Two Delta. It's actually right here. It's yeah. in that bubble wrap pack right there. I'm yeah. not packing it right this minute, so I'm gonna leave it there for the time being until I actually okay, do pack it. We sold that for 150. Yeah, your uh, that buy, that buy you did for all that Mr. Christmas stuff did really well. Yeah, I think I still actually have one more thing to list. We've just been so busy. Right. Yeah, busy. Um, that's it. Yeah. So that's <laughs> we've been busy sleeping. No, we haven't. That's not true. But we've been we've been getting off track a lot lately, man. It's that we haven't been focused like we need yeah, to be. Yeah, it's hard. Um, so that's everything that we have going out today. Okay, Candace, it is time to do the winner for the American Bubble Boy My Go To Cases of Tape yep. drawing from a couple days ago. And we found a website that's going to make it easy for us. Yes, we did. So, uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone that entered, everyone that watched the video, everyone that commented, and especially everyone that bought tape or bubble wrap through our link because a bunch of y'all did and appreciate that. Uh, would also like to hear feedback if y'all have the tape now because I'm actually pretty excited to hear how people are liking this stuff because I mean I know it's just tape but if you're pretty serious about eBay and packing and things like you know good tape when you feel it you know yeah, and, I, I expect by the time this video rolls out that people are gonna start receiving their tape that ordered on launch day so yeah, we are excited to hear your comments on what you think. Link down below uh, if you want to buy, if you want to try some for yourself. Yep. They do have, like if you don't want to buy a whole case at first, uh, they do have smaller like six packs or whatever if you want, just want to try it out that are pretty cheap. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and get started. We have this YouTube comment picker thing. We have the It's Been A While video. Copied it. The URL, I'm going to paste the URL here and uh include comment replies that's fine filter duplicate names yes and we only want my
go to, I already tested this website and this is not case sensitive. Yep. So. It's gonna pull the comments that include that in right now. You'll see it's counting them as it pulls them in. Yep. There's over 2000 comments on the video, but it's only gonna show us how many are actually eligible to win. Okay, 1,658 eligible to win comments. And then down in this section, we just have to, we want 10 winners. Uh, this is all fine. And good luck. Yeah, let's go. And there's the winners. Okay, so we have Teresa Dukes, Victor DeMar, John's Mini Collections, Jeff Lagarto, Becky Adams, Gris Reyes, uh, Michelle Petrunti, Mario L, Gail Mathis, and look, just to show y'all that it truly was not case sensitive, this one is all lowercase, and this one is mixed case here yep. for uh, Marcelo Lopez. Yep. So congrats to all the winners. And what do you need to do next? So next you need to email us shedflips at gmail.com yep and that that gmail that email is also in the description of the video if you forget it or just need to refer back to it so go ahead and email us and we'll tell you what you need to do to claim your prize right and when you email us just let us know that hey i won the drawing my name is and give your your youtube your, your youtube name. name not your real name we need your youtube name right and um also when you do that go ahead and send your well no we don't need your address because we're not doing that nope. all we're going to do once we verify that you are the the winner we're just going to send you the code and the link to go get your free tape and then america bubble boy will take care of you from there right um now there will be one step that we have to take because whenever you give something away for free and i think this stuff is worth like 30 something dollars a yeah. case um sometimes people will try and fraudulently claim the prize so we will have to take one step whenever y'all email us we're going to get we, we have a verification process that involves getting you to put a comment on youtube using your account using the code that we give you via email to the email address you use it sounds kind of complicated. complicated we'll explain it all when you email us. right all, yeah. all you got to do is just make a comment on a video that we tell you to make and then we'll send you the code yeah so uh yeah that congratulations congr yeah congrats to all the winners and, let me, and let's just scroll through again so they can see and okay yeah so you can just check and make sure that that was your name teresa dukes victor damar john's mini collections jeff lagarto becky adams Gris Reyes, Michelle Petrunti, Mario L, Gail Mathis, and Marcella, Marcelo Lopez. Congrats again. And that is going to do it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.